this is how sensational is this? Oh my god, it's giving rich. I can't talk about chlamydia on here. <laughs> oh my god, let me try my throne. Look. How does it look? It looks amazing. This is fucking iconic. And it's got the halo still. We need to make it a little bit smaller, probably. Oh my god, I love it. <gasps> the pics of me. Yeah, they fucking are. I love it. It's amazing. Oh, oh my god, guys, this is actually so nice, isn't it? <laughs> West Ham have gone, um, we'd love it to manage your team, so I've gone fantastic. So right. I've gone to America, and at the time, Sinead was just done the seven months pregnant. So I was like, look, listen, babe, I will not go. If you say stay, <laughs> like, stay here, like, this is only ever the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. But don't worry, I won't <laughs> go. I will stay <laughs> here. Tom, you've got to go. You have to yeah. go. So on the day of the actual first game, she's run me up. She run up at the doctors in the hospital, all right? So she put the doctor on. Tom, um, basically, like, you got obviously baby one and baby two, her heart rate has dropped so significant that if we don't get her out, literally now, like we could lose the twins and your wife. They're on the pitch, it's about to kick off. Yeah. I've run down, jumped over, I'm like, I'm the manager, I'm the manager. Give the best motivational speech in my life. Yeah. <laughs> and Tom Ferdinand, you are the best defence in the world. Come on, I want you out there knocking them in. I was just going mad, yeah? <laughs> anyway, we lost 4-1, got battered. Do you know what? That speech wasn't good mm. enough, though, was it? Sorry, sorry about that. It's all right your friends with Rylan? Yeah. Are you trying to get him, are you trying to find him a boyfriend? Yeah, but what happened was, so I made a roast dinner the other day, yeah? yeah. Rylan's a good friend of ours, like we went out, we was out on, on the weekend mm -hmm. and he was like, I oh, just like joking about, I need to find a man. <laughs> so like, I done a tweet saying like, my friend Rylan's looking for a fella, if anyone is single, we'll vet you, I'll make sure you're all right. And if you're all right, you can come in my house, right. sit down and, and we'll do you a nice roast dinner. Okay. I had honestly over a thousand people, but I think they just wanted to come to roast dinner to be honest. I think that could have been, they probably weren't even gay. But, I mean, half of them, them weren't. And then yeah. loads of people just tagging their mates in. But then there was like some actual nice people People going like, hi, like, I'm looking for love. So oh. I thought I'd be the matchmaker, do you yeah. know what I mean? I know that local councils are really struggling at the moment. Fuck you know, with, with with funding, and I myself was struggling with the amount of potholes, and you know, I drive and stuff. So, so I suggest all the tar in your lungs <laughs> would be a great fit to fill in them potholes. <laughs> Three years of vaping really takes its toll. <laughs> I've heard you walk up the stairs and <laughs> me. It's like a steam train. <laughs> No, it hurts because it's so true. <laughs> Round of applause for Grace's boyfriend, Billy. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Billy looks like if you give Arthur Christmas a top man voucher. Oh. <laughs> when was this fucking roast? Arthur Christmas. I don't even know who that is. Oh, no. Fez. Billy, the type of guy to start oh. sentences with, I'm not racist, but. <laughs> <laughs> Grace, you always ask for advice at the end of your podcasts. Leave Billy. <laughs> oh, Billy. Grace wanted to go on Love Island. Off. Right off. That's mm. it. Oh, was that? <laughs> I knew. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. So horrible. Teachers used to stand and talk to us about mental health awareness for hours. Now they just play your TikToks. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Do you think well, these laughs are real? Nice. Grace? The, the yeah. ones that you just feel it in your yeah. chest. Watch it. Watch it. He's not even up yet. One of the things your fans love about you is consistency. Consistently hilarious, consistently beautiful, and consistently not blending the foundation on your face to your neck. <laughs> it's not all love. She <laughs> 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 look lovely, you look lovely, darling. One of your biggest flight um, fears, not including being cancelled, is a fear of flying in heights. Mm. Now your position in the podcast charts makes sense. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. But listen, we all have fears. I'm scared of being put on a register as it looks like I'm dating a 12 year old boy. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy. Oh, Are these all getting cut? Chris, <laughs> I'm setting up your hinge account. Some people thought I actually had sex with Grace. Ooh. I lost my virginity, not my eyesight. <laughs> Thank you and good night. <laughs> no. Hello. That was so rude. Hey, guys. Chin chin. Yeah, cheers chin, to that. Chin.
Boss, did you write that one? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was the, that was the one by the bin this morning. Me and George were chatting. He went uh, by the bin. That's where you think of me by yeah, the bin. By the trash. That was beautiful, George. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't think I can move on with either of the brothers. Okay, so that's fine. You need to go now. Okay. All right. Uh, right now. Yep. Yeah, right now. Go right now. Okay. Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Today's a special episode. We're doing a roast. We've got Cal Freezy, George Bags, Joe Bags, but I'm going to be no biggie. And we've got Billy the boyfriend. You are living proof that the saying, <sighs> you're so not cool. ugly, you're just broke, is a complete lie. <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> what do you think's a bigger flop? No. My penis when I see you naked or your Great British Adventures? Oh my God! <laughs> Some people thought, that you had sex with George, but he lost his virginity, not his eyesight. Oh, it's just too much now. You're doing too much. You just keep fucking doing it, you fucking dick. You're not just um, into TikTok and podcasts. You've also got some side things going on. But I've got a question. What do you think's a bigger flop? No. My when I see you naked or your Great British Adventures? <laughs> He's She's crying! <laughs> Are you okay? No! What the fuck was that? My work here is done. <laughs> How happy with himself is he? I am just a minute. Do you know my friend um, went on a date? Not my friend. I just know her. Uh, she went on... <laughs> yeah, I really tried to make that personal. Um, <laughs> she, she went on a date with Jason Derulo and he had a studded uh, jacket and she never saw him again because it gave her the ick. One second. Okay. We were just looking at the map of Scotland. Yeah, sorry. And then she just turned to me and said, do you know my friend went on a date with Jason Derulo and he gave her the ick? And I don't know how we... I don't... There was no... <laughs> continue. There was no transition there, but I I'm just, here. One. Sometimes you see singers and you think, yeah, I love that man. And then they turn up in a studded jacket and you think, oh, I will never speak to that man again. If I met Paris Hilton, I'd pass out. Do you know, that's actually a crazy thought because she really is, yeah. her and Miley are kind of like the anomaly to that for me. And Justin Bieber, honestly, like there are certain celebrities that I've met that I idolize so hard and then I meet them and they lived up to the expectation. Okay, fine. And I, I will give that to Paris, Justin and Miley. I idolized Paris my whole life. So I grew up on Simple Life. Mm -hmm. It's the best show. Nothing will ever top that show. Ever. Ever. I've been asked so many times to do a remake and I'm like, why the f would you want to like, <laughs> like ruin something <laughs> so good? Oh. I'll never, like the first time her ever reaching out to me, I was like, what's going on? I would have I did. Pants. I did. I think I sh and puke and threw up and Paris would hate me saying that. She'd be like, don't do that. That's so classy. Don't be, be classy. <laughs> Tana, stop. Like you're building a business. I swear to God. Oh my God, if you had a Netflix show, what mm. would it be? I think it would have to be like a, like keeping up with the Kardashians vibe. Well, I've tried reality television. I've dabbled. I don't know if I'm sane enough for it. If a TV crew were at your recent birthday, the viewings that would have got I thought about that actually. Would have smashed it out the park. I'm not going to lie. You'd retire. I did wake up the next day yeah. and that was one of my first thoughts. I'm not going to lie. It was one of my first thoughts. I was She's like, they can't woman. make this <laughs> yeah. not Just because I document everything. Even yeah. right now I'm going through this crazy shit I was telling you about yeah. off camera and I can't talk about it yet, but I'm documenting it all because I'm like, dude, like one day, one day. Yeah. Because that's my thing. If something terrible is going to happen to me, I'm going to air it out if I can. There have been points in my life where I was going to release a sex tape and it just depends with her. I look back at one certain time mm. I got an offer to release a sex tape. I didn't do it. Right. And I think I'll regret it for the rest of my was life. Was it because it was a lot of money? A lot of money. How much money? Above $10 million. You're an idiot. What the fuck? I, and I'm you? so stupid. We're in a living crisis in England. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. I'd have showed a no, actually, that's a joke. for five pounds. Do you do OnlyFans? No, I don't have the facilities for that. What? You absolutely have the facilities for that. <laughs> do you know who I yeah. really have a crush on? Tell me. Louis Capaldi. <gasps> you and I my would the shit out of Louis Capaldi. Is it because you want to you help him? 
Is that why? Oh, you no, I oh. think he can help me. Oh, <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> Sincerely, I, th- I think he's he's daddy in some ways. Yeah. So I'm not saying this, but I'm saying it's it's nothing about looks. I love talent. That's why I always okay. date musicians too. And like, funny. Someone could literally run me over with a car, but then they're yeah. talented as fuck. And I'm like, you deserve <laughs> to run me over with that car. Yeah. That's really why I gravitate towards musicians. Louis Capaldi, yeah. whatever. Dream man. I think he's so talented and just like I think so this cool. Could happen. And he's hilarious. If you had to fuck a member of the side men. KSI. Oh, duh. Okay. But that's with so the, fucking embarrassing. With the bandana like, on or with huh? the bandana off? Either. Choke me with it. So, oh my God. That's so <laughs> embarrassing. I'm kidding, JJ. I it's love not. you. You're my friend. Swear to God, it's not. just, it's, yeah. you're always going to go for the ringleader, right? If you can. Yeah. But we're just great friends. That was just a joke. I actually don't know the rest of their names either. I've met them a couple times. So it's like, well, like if I was going to answer anyone else, I would have said like Sidemen 4. Like I don't, I don't know <laughs> their names. In order. Um, which is crazy because I just shot with them for 12 hours. Is there something in life that you've been overly competitive about and you've been like, that was a bit embarrassing? Yeah, quite a few actually. Name one. Board games at home with Michelle's family. Oh, like, like Monopoly. Monopoly once. I knew you were going to say that. It was about one in the morning. The game was still going on. It was just yeah. me and her brother left on the board. Yeah. And he had, he was so far in front of me, there was no way I was going to win. Yeah. But in my head, I was like, I've got to still win. We you played could. till 4am because we had some money on it. And I was like, you're not, I'm not, he was like, Mark, look, we need to go to bed. Yeah. You ain't going to win. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm going to keep not. going. And we played till 4am. Everyone else went to bed. It was just me and him playing. And my wife the next day was like, listen, this competitiveness has just got to slow down. Yeah, I bet she was absolutely fuming. Yeah. <laughs> Screaming down the house over a bit of, yeah. uh, a bit of Monopoly. I love that. <laughs> what was it like? So you did with Chunks. H. Yeah. What was that like? Brilliant. They're both both good lads. Yeah, they're both really funny, young, vibrant. Yeah. Always bantering around the training ground. They're great. Oh, really? Do you ever get nervous before you go on? Yeah, you do, because there's a massive crowd. You're playing right. against amazing players. So you don't want to F it up, because if you do, everyone's going to... Do you like to it. like role play that you're David Beckham before you go on? <laughs> uh no, nah, but I definitely role play that like I'm a footballer. Like I'm a pro. <laughs> I definitely yeah. go out there in my new white boots. Like this is it. I'm playing yeah. the cup final. I can't believe you just strictly. Yeah. I couldn't imagine that because I'd be like, that's so intimidating. Yeah. Because you know the people in the crowd as well. I'm telling they're you, they're on now, that shit. Doing that show. Yeah. Is the most nerve wracking thing you it will seems ever it. do. It's worse than soccer. Age sixty thousand people. Yeah, you are so scared you're going to forget your steps. Like I used to literally shake before I went out. Really? Yeah. And I suppose every. It's not like with soccer. Aid, at least you can see different people. Well, soccer. Aid, it's just you. And soccer aid is like something I grew up doing. I grew up playing football. You know. So. Yeah. And it's charity. You can't shit on charity. Yeah. Exactly. You can't. Yeah. Have you done dancing on ice? No. Okay. Thank God. That's one thing I couldn't like. Imagine falling over on the ice. Did you see Gemma Collins yeah, fall? Yeah, that's the best thing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> so basically, we used to have a night team that would stay with us, right. but only up with one camera, so they couldn't shoot everything properly. Okay. And we slept in tents in the Peak District, and we had blow-up beds. But yeah. The blow-up bed just fitted in the tent, so basically it filled out the right. whole tent. Yeah. So me and my brother, we got a pin, and we went and like stabbed, stabbed <laughs> yeah. my dad's mattress. Oh, bless and him. And the bed went down. Probably about 10 minutes after him being on the floor, you just heard, Josh. Josh, who's let it down? <laughs> well, what are you talking about? And he came out of the tent, all his hair was sticking up. He was oh. pissing down with rain. We were crying. Like that is so crying. evil. Yeah, and they woke us up in the middle of the night. It was like, Mark, we need you to do something for us. We need you to step out of the bed extremely slowly. Don't bang your foot on the floor. Shut up. And I was like, what? What do you mean? I spoke from my mic and I was like, there's a brown snake under your bed and they're deadly. Nah. I was like, what am I? It was a hammock as well. So I was like, what am I going to do? So eventually I said, like, I can't put my foot out. And the snake had moved to like, the side, so there was no way of me getting out. And they had to send in, like, the um, animal team, like, who rescue it and whatever. They came in with, like, one of them clamps, the little... grabbed it, and it was massive. If they didn't notice it, could have come up and bit me on the arse. You know I, I mean? don't know. Well, that would be an experience for you and the snake. But I <laughs> yeah. think, I don't know why. I always thought maybe they'd, like, net it all off. You nah. know? That there'd be no, no snakes near you. Well, now I'm definitely not doing nope, it. Then, now the you've wild. told me you're that. Bush turkeys walking around, you get everything. So I've got this um, bag with all photos and that. And there was me with Hugh Hefner because I lived there for six weeks in yeah. the Playboy Mansion. And my mum was staying in this hotel and there was a club underneath. So I said to Hugh, Ooh. oh, my mum's staying here. Can we go knock on the door? 
My mum had no idea. We all went up. There's six girls of us who knocked on the door and I've got pictures of them holding Harvey in that L Q. That is so iconic. But by so God, you met Hugh Hefner? I lived with him because he wanted me to cool. be his girlfriend. What was he like? But I just didn't want to have sex with him. I don't. That wrinkly penis, it was like even being then. With, oh no, it's how, it wasn't wrinkly. Horrible. How do you know? I've seen it. I've seen it. I was that's in the room. Fair. So like, that's when I've done the girls. <laughs> What was your favourite wedding, if you had to pick one? I didn't really see the first one, because it was what? okay, Mag. And uh, I, was kept, I, I wasn't, ah. Uh, but I would say that was my favourite, because it, there was so much great. It was a spectacular wedding, but I dress. just didn't get to see it all. Why? When you do a magazine deal, you have to do pictures, and then I wasn't allowed uh, to say I had all helicopters, Sky News. It was it was quite a big event. Oh, so until they released it, you all weren't of really. That, yeah. Oh yeah, that shit. When I looked at it, it looked like an amazing <laughs> wedding. And when I looked at it, it online, yeah, great. And everyone said it looked amazing. <laughs> do you like in a situation like that? Do you like being in the argument or watching the argument? Well, Katie Hopkins would try it on. Of course. For example. Say if I held my cup like that, she'd be like, oh, don't you hold your cup funny? And inside, I'd want right. to say, why don't you fuck off, you <laughs> Yeah. When really, I'd be like, yeah, I suppose I do, really. Uh, yeah. But like. the reason I don't, because I know what she was trying to do. And then she started talking about Harvey. Why Why do I have money off the government to take him to school? You to wouldn't vigil? ask someone but that's like else she about tried. that. I would never start an argument, but yeah. I can stick up for myself if I need to. I saw a clip of your pod and it was your sister going, are you ever going to get married again? Oh, and you shit, were just like, you were saying, they just take my money. It's all they about do. the money. You need to get prenups done. I have. Right. Don't work. Well, I'll write them for you because it's not working. The, the, the answer is just don't, just, just don't get married. Yeah, you that's know what fair. a lot of people said to me. Tell me. They said, why don't you just go for women? I'm not even joking. Yeah. Because the amount of shit I've had with men. You should dip joking. your finger in a pie. I have done. Get, all right. In a Playboy mansion. Okay. I have, it's out there. I have, oh, I always done forget you're a Playboy before. girl. I have Sorry, done girls. Princess. Oh, I went to Cannes Film Festival. I saw Quentin Tarantino. Fuck off. He scares me a bit. He was scary. Of course he was. Uh, well, have you been to Cannes Film Festival? This is my first don't time be ever. Silly, no, yeah. This is my first time ever. Like, I'm talking lie. like, have you been? <laughs> like, I've never been like, it was my first year. We walked on the carpet. Mouth out the way. Mouth out the way. They're screaming <laughs> at all the like TikTok people, like influencers. No, no. They didn't want to see Shut us. Up. They were not interested. They're like, no. So then we walk up and you're just sat in the cinema waiting like you would at a premiere as normal. Yeah. And then Quentin Tarantino turned up. Fucking hell. And everyone's on the carpet, like all these like irrelevant people. Of course. Everyone like shoved to the side, like get off, get off, get off. Not one singular atom of a person was on that carpet. And then Quentin Tarantino Until walks on. Tarantino. And he's like that. Is he short or tall? Average, I'd say. Did you sniff him? Did you get a whiff? I didn't get a whiff, but he did look like he would smell of oud or something, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah, I see that. Is this your first, like, proper hot girl summer? It is. How are you finding it? <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and that's all you need to say. Because I saw in your TikTok, you were like, I hate being single, but then I feel like you like being single too. I feel like anyone who is single understands why I say I hate being single. Yeah, yeah. But also understands why I might say I love being single at the same time. Yeah. I do, I like being free. Yeah. <laughs> but I also hate the streets. Do you know, I tried to follow in your footsteps the other day. I went to Joe and the Juice. I've never stepped foot in there before because I just <laughs> thought, what in the vegan tote bag is going on right? <laughs> but I went in there and I went, I love the green one. It was like celery. I put it in the bin. You didn't like it? It was possible. But I wanted to like it because it was green. Like I was channeling you. But it tasted like pussy. It was <laughs> <laughs> It was so horrible. I before. Like I've heard like taste like plants. <laughs> pussy. It tasted like pussy. Wow. It was horrible. Oh my god. Yeah. Have yeah. you had any like celeb DMs? Yeah, but like Ofs. Obviously. <laughs> no. I'm yeah, but like no one like that's Worth that's noting. like anything's really happened. Has Jack Grealish slid in? 
No. Fuck's sake. But he's got a girlfriend. Yeah, but that hasn't stopped him. <laughs> I, I don't know why everyone says that. As if that's ever stopped that man. No, no footballers actually. And I can't imagine you as a wag. I wouldn't be able to trust them one singular bit. Yeah. And they love using the, I'm a footballer. I know, I've got money, darling. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I've got Rex. money. Get on TikTok, darling, you'll see money. <laughs> you heard of the creator fund. I said, so am I, darling. <laughs> <laughs>
Grace <laughs> Oh my god, me trying to be relatable. You have to keep but it in. You have to keep it I'll keep it, it in. I'll keep no. it in. Grace, you finished me. You finished me. I don't know the what we are your online. <laughs> Grace, that's the funniest thing you Yeah. What is the most embarrassing moment you've had on the show? <gasps> yeah, so we went to yeah. a pub, yeah. And then, <laughs> so basically they dressed me up as like a salesman with a briefcase and all the producers and everything, right. they gave me the briefcase and it was like, make sure you don't look inside the briefcase. So anyways, I went up to two lovely women. They were lovely. They were lovely. They were really lovely, yeah. So I went up to them and then I had to sell them this, this amazing thing that was in the briefcase. I was like, it's really useful. It's handy. It's the best thing ever. Yeah. And then they made me turn around because the producers were in my ear. The girls were in my ear. Everyone was in my ear. They made me turn around and open the briefcase. What was a that? A big, bl the blackest dildo I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. It was this big with veins. And the tip was huge. Oh, where did yeah. they get that from? Mm, girl, I don't know, child. Your closet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they made me open it. And then the, the women were horrified. And I was like, what are you lot, you lot exaggerating? Like, what's going on? I turned around. I saw the seat. I crazy the seat. I left the show. <gasps> you fully walked I, out? I said, this scene is done. The, embar <laughs> the embarrassment. <laughs> tapped out I'll i feel it. like you'd be sick on it I i'll like. do whatever you want me to do i'd make you do brilliant here we go i'd make you strip tease in a pub okay well the thing is mm -hmm. that's on game too far night, when there's like a football football game on okay I want to stand in front of the screen do you know what would hurt just move like a snake is they'd ask why the snake is a 12 year old boy <laughs> and i'd have to say i'm female I and then you'd have to cut so the next question <laughs> <laughs> I went to um, Turkey in Manchester and the security guard come over and was like, tapped me and my friend on the shoulder, like, do you want to come in here? And I was like, I don't know where you're on about. And they were like, oh, they want you back there. So they made us put our phones in the buckets. So I was like, well, who the f*** is it? And it was like a couple of footballers in there, but they made all the girls put their phones no in the bucket. No way. And I was like, come off it. Like, I'm not going to start being like, hey, <laughs> with Jack Greenland. <laughs> Literally like, hi, God babe. forbid. That's so extra yeah, though. It's so extra. What was the hardest thing for you being a teenage girl? And I don't being want to hear ginger. you say I knew you were going to say ginger. being ginger. Yeah. No, only because I went to a school in South London. Mm. People were not nice to me. No, do they play knock knock ginger on you? No, but when Catherine Tate came out <laughs> yeah. and I had people scream at me on the way to school saying gingers for justice, it, it makes me sad still. And you know <laughs> what? The best thing that happened was me being bullied because I'm funny. Yeah. And I don't take life yeah. too seriously. And you have got a thick skin. Yeah, and I think the fact that people bully people just because they're slightly different, like, it's not my fault I was born ginger. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Shave your head. What is the biggest deal that you've turned down or we've turned down? It was huge. It was about half a million, I reckon. Yeah. But it wasn't right. No. It wasn't right. And I think in the grandest scheme of things, it was not correct. I think I would have, we would have regretted it. Because it was it the was. money that was making us like... <laughs> Dating in the future. Oh, yeah. Do you think you'll date someone in the public eye again? Or would you want someone low-key? So I have actually met the love of my life. Right? I've not spoke to him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair. I've walked past him. I will marry him. I keep introducing him to everyone as my husband. Do you want to see him? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh. Oh. He is the love of my life. He doesn't know it. I think he'd be fine with this. I've always wanted to become an influencer, but never know how. What would your advice be? If you wanted to be an influencer, you need to find a niche. You have to be different. The, the biggest mistake show. people make, say someone loves you and then their content is so similar to yours or you can see someone else in your content. Yeah. Just being yourself, but consistency is so important. And how like being on it, doesn't matter what people look like at mm -hmm. all. It is literally to do with, do you have a talent? Are you commercial? Are you relatable? People buy into people's lives, but no one buys into that the perfect life anymore because yeah. we're not perfect it's the year of relatability it's the year of just being yourself joe was telling me that he went there the other day and someone was i think they were popping like an orange or banana out of their pussy and then eating it oh it's giving like sticky vicky and benadol a lot but like yeah. celeb version but 
Wow. Yeah. Why do I still want to go? No, same. I'm just so intrigued but to be like. It's so hard to get in. Can't this just queue up and be like, the hi. The only ID. time I'd use the I have a blue tick. <laughs> Someone did try and fight Hannah. It was like a zero to a hundred, but mm. essentially, I saw this girl went inside. I remember thinking the audacity. Anyway, because she came up, you gave her the mic to speak, and everyone else just take it normally. And she went and got herself on stage and sat there and just told this story like it was her own stage. And so I just said, right, well, I, I can't, can't let her on. There's mm. no way she's too drunk. And I just said to her, I'm really sorry, babe. You told your story now, so we're only going to go two people. I'm kind of running out of time. Yeah. And she was like, what the f And I was like, yeah, we're not going to have you on. <laughs> yeah. um, and she was like, who the f do you think you are? And I was like, so my name's Hannah. Like, yeah, <laughs> right, um, I'm Grace's manager. And she went, who the f do you think you are? Like really getting in my face. Gun fingers. Literally in my face. And I thought, no, today is not the day. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, she ended up getting like kicked out, like manhandled out of the building. Yeah. I nearly drowned in a fountain four days before this. So that's mermaid. Well. Yeah. And I want to give context to this. Max me over because he said we should do a friends moment. You know, in the Enjoying intro, it, yeah. where they're all she, in the fountain yeah. having fun, splashing about. I ran full pelt and I thought he was getting in. He stopped. I went in deeper than it looks. That was like a meter deep, nearly drowned. And I, my skin has been really itchy since I've got back. Scabies. I think genuinely I've got some parasites. You need to get that checked out. I was thinking that, but I don't have time. Channing Tatum followed me the other day. Channing Tatum could have seen it. Shut up. Yeah, but do you know what's bad? He followed me off of a video and I'd just come back from a mass. I had no makeup on, Stop. hair everywhere. I look fucked. And I was talking about how I just got spanked by a masseuse oh, and he followed me from it. And I was like... Not my finest hour. Mm. Yeah, weird. Strange video to follow you from, but fucking not fr complaining. Freaking no, I did. I was on the train with my mum and I woke her up. I said, "You're not gonna fucking believe I it." I love magic money. You're not gonna fucking. I was like, "Free tickets, anyone?" Yeah, and it free tickets Bill to the live human. show. Like, How fucking dare you? <laughs> what would your types be on paper? Do you on paper? What my love island? When I think of my type, I think of like the prince from The Little Mermaids. Oh, like Eric. Yeah, Prince oh, Eric. Yeah. The oh, one, yeah, with the, the, one, with the hair. Yeah, but the oh, one yeah. in the cartoon. Yeah. yeah. He kind of looks, like, yeah, yeah, looks like my boyfriend, like, now. I love And I, I remember I met him in Disneyland, and I was like... Oh. I was like nine, I was like, hi. <laughs> no, because that is the thing, when you're younger, though, I was like, I don't know if I can go in there. He's going to fucking... You're like, going to the One Direction shave. Or Jonas Brothers, like... Thinking you're the only one in the crowd. It's like he's singing for me. Well, when I... I remember I heard Jeb were in London, so I shaved my pussy, just in case... I for Jedward, I was twelve. No, oh. and that's actually I know, too that's, old. Yeah. Did your mum just call me fat. <laughs> so the first time my mum ever met you, you took us out for dinner. I didn't did. You? I, my mum went. I want a full presentation. I want a PowerPoint. What you're going to do with my daughter? So Hannah, bless her soul. Mm. You got off a plane, didn't you? I had literally just landed from LA, and yeah. I literally had to get dressed. Yeah. Finish this presentation for your mum to basically tell me to put it away and yeah. to have fun. Two sentences into the presentation, she went, "Let's just have a drink, Hannah." Have a and wine. that we did. And then she called you, "Girl, girl," didn't she? She went, "You look very girl this evening, Hannah." And Hannah turned to me and said, "Did your mum just call me fat?" <laughs> and I said, "I thought she did." Because I've sure. never been. Have you ever gone through someone's phone? If yes, what did you find? Oh, I go through all of my partner's phone, yeah, and I find someone every single fucking time. Really? Every What's the worst time. thing you found? There's been so much shit. Photos from girls, arranged meetings, um, messages. Yeah, a lot of usual. messages, mm. like flirty messages. And then I when, think that's the worst. And then when confronted, they go, ain't that bad. Or, <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. They, don't, they just say, nah, it doesn't say what you think it says. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> 